Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back. I am Ali Attic, and you are here with me in episode 30 of Requiem HQM. I uh, realized I've been a bit, a little bit silly. Uh, I was doing some work in between episodes. I went mining. I got us a whole bunch of copper and I went and got some more diamonds because I knew we needed diamonds and I went and got some more glowstone because I knew we needed glowstone. And then I thought to myself, I sat back and I was like, Alia, just a little, little chat with myself. You know what you've been doing? You've been going and collecting resources so that you can build something that gives you more resources. I mean, if we go and have a look at this tablet thing, right? This basically, the transmutation table, this creates resources out of just nothing. Well, I mean, so what have I been doing? This is, this is the answer to all of my problems. Duh, derpy, derp, derp, derp. So I stopped mining, even though I'd already done like a, a, a poop ton of it. And I went through the computer and I basically took one of everything that has an EMC value in it and I put it all into the transmutation table. So now I should be able to make pretty much anything and it's just going to take, you know, feeding more EMC into it to, to get all the resources that we need. Now, Obviously, this is not an unlimited supply of energy because basically you need items to convert into AMC. So I thought, wouldn't it be smart to, oops, we're not oh, clicking the wrong button. Um, wouldn't it be smart to go back to the um, chapter, the original power creep and push forward a little bit more with this? Because if we can get a solar powered EMC generator set up and we can just have it ticking away, then we can just basically, we'll be able to create things out of nothing forever and ever. And the majority of our, um, you know, Matt's issues should kind of be solved, right? Like, am I, am I just, am I totally crazy here? I think it should kind of be solved. So um, I think the best thing to do is follow the quest book a little bit and see where it takes us. I also did watch a tutorial on how to build one of these things. And look, potentially 1,200,099 EMC, maybe that won't be enough to make all of the materials that we need to set up the flower, power of flower, flower power properly, which is what this will end up doing. Power flower, there we go. Um, but I thought it would be worth giving it a crack. What do you reckon? So the first thing to do, according to the book, is to make an energy collector mark one. Um, so we need a block of diamond, which we have now because I went and mined a whole bunch of diamonds. Uh, and, and here we just go one, two, is that going to work? One, two, three, four, five, six. See, we just like collect what we need. Isn't that good? Um, oh, damn. I should have just popped that straight in. Energy collector. Mark one. Boom. Done. Cool, huh? And then we obviously can teach that to the machine. And now we can just make as many of them as we need, I think. I'm pretty sure. So what is this actually telling us? Energy collector converts light into EMC. Great. So this is what we want to do. Uh, we need an antimatter relay. Is that what it's going to tell us to make? Yeah. Okay. Uh, antimatter, uh, antimatter, uh, as many energies touching those as you can, then as much glowstone touching those as you can. This is, yeah. Okay. So energy collector mark one, antimatter relay mark one. Let's, what, what do we need for an antimatter relay? Anti, mm, anti dash, antimatter relay. Obsidian, another block of diamond. Um, done. Nice. Cool. Teach that to the machine. Nice. Um, I think we're going to need an energy condenser. Um, great. So the thing that I was watching said we needed a collect which is that uh, that um, we needed a relay which is that and we needed a condenser that's that and antimatter relay wait is that a relay the same as antimatter relay wait what maybe I was watching a really old tutorial relay just this just the antimatter relay so you, you need hmm Let's see how many, oh, actually, here's a good thought. What does it take to make an energy collector mark two, do you think? Uh, lots more glowstone and dark matter. 
which is going to take a lot of stuff. So how about we try and set this up with just an energy collector. So we'll go um, to three. If it's like one on the top, one on the side, one on the side, and then one on the back, that might be enough. And then just like a whole bunch of glowstone and we'll see what happens. Um, now, here's a good question. Where should I set this up? Uh, it's going to be, it's going to take up a little bit of space. Oh, and so, you know, oh, sorry for shouting to the mic. But so this thing, I just realized, you know, all the mats that I need to make that bigger, I can, I've, I can just teach it to my little thing. And if I can get more EMC going in there, then I, I should be able to just make more of those walls whenever I want. See, just so silly. Why didn't I think of this before? Um, for the time being, let's set this up outside and I'll probably end up having to move it, but that is fine. I'm going to put it literally right here. So does this tell me what to make it? So place down an energy con condenser, then put as many antimatter relays as you can touching it, then as many energy collectors touching those. Oh, I need a lot of antimatter relays as well. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. In, two, three, four. I should put it, um, I should put it here, shouldn't I? That would actually make a lot of sense. Uh, I'm going to destroy all my bookshelves, but maybe, maybe... Maybe we'll just have to deal with that. That's all right. I can set these all back up again. Just takes a few materials. Oops. I want to pick you up. Yeah. Also, can I teach? Yes, I can. Nice. Nice. So nice. Oh, nice. You can go there for the time being. You can go away. Okay. All right. So let's go out here. Right. I've already forgotten what I'm supposed to put down first. First is to place down the energy condenser. Okay, which one's the energy condenser? Placing you down. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Then put as many antimatter relays as you can touching it. Okay, well, actually, that means that antimatter relay, I want to put one underneath, right? So I've put that there, uh, put that there, and then one two, three, and I'm going to need something to stand on. So let's grab some of you. I mean, this would be really cool if this worked, right? Oh, come on. I have to get move that table. All right, so you go there. I can still open that. Great. Okay, cool. Next step. Then as many energy collectors touching those as you can. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, energy collectors... Uh, you there, there, um, uh, there, there. Now I'm assuming we can come forward and backwards as well. This is really only going to come down to how many of these I can actually afford to make. Um, yeah, this is going to be a, uh, I'm going to have to kind of build this as we go. Uh, I don't know if that's sufficient or not. Um, maybe for safety, I'll move that one and I'll put glowstone there and we'll see. We will see. So I'm definitely going to need more glowstone. So I think the glowstone is so that, you know, because this is solar powered, it'll work in daytime. And let me just check if that's actually, are we getting anything? Yeah, look, 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 look. It's going up, which is good. So I think this is going to take a while, but why isn't that going in there? How does that out? Do why when does it output? How does it output? Why do the how do the relays work? You're building stuff up. Have I read this incorrectly? Possible to convert pure light using the energy collector. Energy collector. That's you. Um, the antimatter relay is used to break down items into raw EMC when paired with with an antimatter relay, the EMC produced by the energy collector will pass into the relay to be stored. And as a benefit of doing this, bonus EMC will be collected by the relay and stored as well. Bonus EMC will be collected by the relay. I don't truly understand. Maybe when that gets full, then it starts going into here? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know so much. Uh... But that's okay. If we put you there, um, what are you doing? You are not doing anything. That's all right. Um, if you have any hot tips, as always, please leave a comment and let me know if I'm doing something wrong. Because I think this, why is this not going down? I think this could be really cool if I get this working right. 
Um, I think, I think we're going to have a good time. Uh, you go there. You can go there. Uh, I wonder if I've done that correctly. Maybe I have. Maybe I have not. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? You are definitely getting power. Maybe. Let me look in the book because we did have. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, my brain's a bit derpy today. The energy condenser. When we made the energy condenser, what did this say? Duplicates items with EMCs using other items with EMC. The top left slot is where the item to be duplicated is placed. Then any item put in its 91 inventory slots will be converted into the target item should there be enough EMC. Condensers can also use EMC created from adjacent antimatter relays, which is what we have. So let me experiment. Let's grab a diamond. I mean, diamonds are fairly... So I put you there. Hey, is that working? Yes, so I think because I put that diamond there, it's now sucking the energy out of the relays. Yes, yes. And I think when that reaches a certain amount, it's going to start creating diamonds. I think that is actually working, which is awesome. Um, now, I don't know. I've kind of boxed myself in here. I should probably shift all of that back. I'm really going to, I'll have to rebuild all of this because I'm, this, it's not quite right. But for the time being, that's a really awesome way to get some more resources. Sweet. I'm sure that there's a way that I can add that transmutation table to somewhere here and I'm, I'm sure it will all connect and all of that kind of stuff. But for the time being, I'll just let this create diamonds. It's just going to like passively tick along, create some diamonds. Um, I wonder whether it's useful for me to do that and that. Uh, and, you know, I can just like pick, collect those diamonds and pop it in the um, table and I can get more AMC that way. Let's see. Is this going to create the diamond? Drum roll, please. What is this going to need to go? 8192. Da, 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 da. And we have... Yeah, sweet. And so then check this out. If I need anything else, say for example, one of the things that I've, I've been harping on about since the beginning of this ruddy series is ender pearls, right? Because I do find them a little bit difficult to get a hold of. If I put you in there, aha, uh -huh, see, look now, it's converted everything that's in here into EMC back into the ender pearl and it's going to keep, yes, so cool. I am very happy with my life choices. I think this is going to be awesome. Um, no, no, that's not what I meant to do. I'm going to grab you. So um, just for those of you playing along at home, it's called, uh, look at that. And then you just create more diamonds. Oh, show. Cool. All right. Awesome. Um, for those of you playing along at home, it's called AE because it's equivalent exchange because everything has that EMC value. These don't. Um, everything has an EMC value and that means you can exchange that, that value for other things. Awesome. Well, to be honest, that was actually a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to take a bit longer. So um, let's see what else in here we can do that is fun. It might be a bit tricky because we might not have a lot of EMC to play with. We already used half of it just to make that structure. But let's see what else we can do. I think it wants us to make some dark matter. Now, dark matter was a little bit tricky. Uh, what do I want to do? Actually, I don't need to. No, no. I need to do... Um, uh, dark matter. Dark matter. It's going to need a block. Oh, I need one more diamond. That's fine because I can just come in here, get that diamond. Oh, yeah. You you, you get that diamond, girl. Woo! Actually, I'm going to take that and I'm actually going to teach this as well. So now I've, now I've got that. Awesome, huh? Right? Right? Am I right? Um, and I need eight of you, I think. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. And then you go in there and you go like that. And we have a dark matter. And it also has an EMC value. So we can teach that to the machine as well. Dum, dum, dum. That is so cool. Because, um, you know, we used all of that stuff to make the thing. But then we put the thing back in the thing. Thing. So many times. Thing, thing. Um, now, light isn't fast enough. Now that you have dark matter, you can upgrade those boring old energy collectors and antimatter relays to the second tier. Uh, energy collector mark two. I wonder whether we do have enough for this. Let's see. Energy collector mark two is going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven glowstone times. Well, how many did I make before? You know, one, two, three, four, five, six or so. 
Seven times six is numbers and, hmm, not sure. What else can we do with dark matter? I know I'm getting a little bit uh, ahead of myself, but here we go. The transmutation tablet is a portable version of the transmutation table. You can access it from anywhere just by right-clicking in it. That's pretty awesome. Um, transmutation tablet. It's dark matter block. Holy patootie. That is going to be, that's 4, 8, 12, 16. I don't think that we have enough EMC to make that just yet. Okay, that might be a little ways coming. How about this? Red matter is the best material in Project E. It is used in the most powerful items in the mod and has its own tier of armor and tools. Ooh, cool. Um, what do we need for red matter? Probably a lot of dark steel, I'm guessing. I mean, dark matter. Um, we can probably make one of these. I need six eternalist fuel and three dark matter. Do I have enough of this? One, two, three. Mm, no, maybe I don't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just enough. Just enough. We'll go two, three, four, five. Oh, six. Red matter. Nice. And you can also be taught to the machine. Nice. So cool. Great. Awesome. More mass than your mama. You're so rich you can just throw away 25,000 dark red and dark matter. Uh, that is not true. That's going to take me quite some time to build up. Um, how about this? The energy condenser Mark II is 64 times faster than the Mark I, but can only store half the amount as it could. Well, I don't think the energy condenser is what's slowing us down with this right at the minute. Um, so there's that. Ooh, how about this? Tools. Dark matter tools are made of dark matter and diamonds. They all have infinite durability and are very fast. Um, well, this is obviously going to take a lot of... Um, a lot of EMC. I think we might just have to let that little solar power machine run for a little while. That's what I'm looking for. Dark matter pickaxe. Yeah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen dark matter balls just on its own. We definitely don't have enough. We don't have we just we just don't have enough. It's just not it's just not happening. And you are taking quite some time. So, do I, do I, hmm, do I try and upgrade these things straight away or, I mean, I could upgrade them one at a time. How about that? I'm probably going to break all of this glowstone and it's not going to, I'm not going to get, I'm going to waste some glowstone because I don't have silk touch, oh, beg your pardon, I don't have silk touch anything at the minute, but, um. That's all right. Whoops, I didn't need to break that one. We'll just upgrade this one and then we'll see how we go. How about that? Energy. Oh, I already know I need a dark matter ball, right? Mark two. I need one of you and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven glowstone. I need one of you and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, totally wasted a bunch of glowstone dust there. That's a shame. Oh, well, and I think you went like this and like this and then like this. Energy collector mark two. Wow, yeah. Uh, that's you. And then the antimatter relay mark two is three times faster than the antimatter relay mark one. Okay, anti. Oops. It's still dash anti matter relay is obsidian and a dark. I mean, I think I can do that too. Should I do one of those? We'll just do one, maybe. Yes. See if this uh, significantly makes things faster or not. Um. So any no 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 no. Anti. I really. It's really annoying how that cancels out every time. Super annoying. But that's all right. Anti-matter relay mark do hooray yeah woohoo um cool 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 well it's definitely going to ask us to make tier three next but I don't think we have the materials for this so pop you back down uh, and pop you back down now how fast are you going now any faster significantly faster not significantly faster how are we feeling how are we feeling kids how are we feeling i should definitely look into getting something silk touch shouldn't i so that i can um you know i do that and then i can get in and out that's a bit better 
Uh, silk touch, silk touch, silk touch, silk touch. I reckon there'd probably be a way to make a, a new dig spell um, with Ars Magica 2 so I could punch blocks with a silk touch. Um, maybe I'll have a look into that. But first, is there anything else in here that can be useful? Tools are going to be really expensive. This third tier stuff is going to be a little bit too expensive. Um, magical backpacks, another useful upgrade to the alchemy chest is the alchemy bag. Um, have all the same features of an alchemy chest. They activate EE power items, have 104 inventory slots. They're portable and are linked to each player's inventory. That means losing the bag will not lose the player's items. Oh, well, that's why I've got keep inventory on anyway. But let's see if we can make it. Alchemy. Alchem Did I type in the wrong thing? Is it alchemical? Alchemical or alchemy? Alchem alchemical. Of course, alchemical bag, 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 alchemical bag. Um, okay, which is wool, alchemical chest, and high coalescence dust. Uh, let's just see. Okay, um, okay, okay. I can't remember how that was made. Do we have that? Uh, apparently not exactly. Um, we need one of each of the dust. Uh, one of you, uh, one of you, and one of you. Um, our chemical bag. Is there a way? Sort by view, sort order, search, tall centered terminal options. No, I don't think that there's a way to get it to not cancel out. Super annoying. Oh well, um, do I have everything else? No, I need a diamond. Diamond. Do you like my singing? Sorry, I'm a bit croaky today. Uh, um, that's you. Okay, alchemical bag. That's fine. Uh, and I need the high covalescence dust. Covalescence, covalescence, dust. One, two, three. Cool. How great is it as being able to like make materials? It's just it's just awesome. I think it's just awesome. Um, so can I open this? Do I do anything with it? Hey, oh whoa, that's gonna be awesome when I'm mining, which now that I'm saying that out loud, I don't actually need to go mining anymore. Well, it's still cool, because I wonder if I can put you in there. I can put a bag inside a bag, it's bagception. What? Um, you're just slowly ticking along. This is pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty happy with my life choices. Um, cool. That's pretty awesome. Um, now, how about this? Divining rod scans an area depending on... Blah, 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 blah. I can speak. The divining rod scans an area depending on orientation and provides information about the EMC values of the mineable blocks in the area. Not entirely certain why this is useful, but let's see if we can make it. Divine... That's what we want. Divining rod, which is low convalescence dust with a stick, and then eight of you and then eight of you. Well, it should be pretty easy to do. So let's just knock this one off, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is what I meant to do. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice, nice. Oh, it's cancelled out again. Divine, divine, divining rod. Beautiful. And then you and then you i mean it's, it's a bit silly to have those three tiers when they're so easy to make but anyway easy done um so if i click you a average emc for 21 blocks one max emc second max third max Nah, i don't really know don't really know what that's all about but hey i can chuck you back in there and it's not a loss no waste no wastage bam bam now, we definitely at some point looked at all of these rings, and I can't remember if any of them were really that useful. Power of air allows a player to fly. Well, hey, I mean, I mean, I can kind of already fly, but, you know, create repulsive, repulsive force fields. Well, bleh, I hate your repulsive force field. Or shoot projectiles. Okay. Charged Klein star. I don't know what that's about. Do we have anything that's about a charged Klein star yet? Do we know what they're talking about? No, but let's see if we can 
Rending Gale. Goodness gracious. Rending Gale. What do I need? One, two, three, four dark matter. I... We definitely don't have enough EMC for that. Okay. So we're just going to have to let that tick away. We'll get, gather some more EMC. And that'll be fine. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, that's pretty good. That's actually really good. This is just going to keep going. If I, you know, come on and um, maybe I'll just let that go for a while or if I'm out um, doing, you know, farming or anything like that. Or, But, you know, like now that I mention it, there's not a great lot of farming that I need to do anymore because I can make bread in here, right? So I can, I've got food for days and I can make um, wool whatever I need and I can make uh, string whenever I need. So uh, I can probably get rid of the farm down there or at least maybe turn that farm into something else. Same with the animals. I can get all the beef and the chicken and the feathers that I need so I can clear this out, which is kind of good. It's going to give us a little bit more area to do something new in. So that is pretty nifty. Um, now that we have access to a few more materials, let's see. I was going. I was going places. I was going places with this. Um, one thing I was having a look at what is next to do. One thing that this does not at all seem to exist. Empty armor plating is not something that actually exists. Empty armor is not there. Um, plating. Uh, doesn't seem to. I mean, there's Enderium armor plating flux, and that's from the. I don't know. But what I'm trying to say is that item doesn't seem to exist at all. Um, but this is seeming to ask for Lumium armor. So I could try and make Lumium armor um, and then just tick that off. But the first thing I thought um, is just try and, you know, get a couple more of these done. So how about this? We get some more of the pipes and stuff just so we can tick it off and we can say that we did it. So fluids can also be moved, not by RF. Fluids can be moved through the use of fluid ducts from thermal expansion or fluid conduits from Ender.io. Again, this is thermal expansion quest line, so we're going to use those. So it wants a temperate fluid duct. Tem still doesn't like, still doesn't like teas. Tell me Why? Tell me why in the da, 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 oh, oh, um, fluid duct, is it a double D? Temperate fluid duct. I should be able to do that. Yeah, and I was right. Done. Easy. Too easy. And then hardened fluid ducts. Uh, no, fluid duct. Uh, duct. I know what I'm doing. Hardened fluid duct. Flu f f uh, hmm. Uh, does it need to be, uh, no, does it need to, no, yes, good, and maybe something, nice, very good, and do these have EMC, they do, oh, it's just the sweetest, oh, the sweetest thing, um, do I have other things in here, no, I, w I went through most things, um, and I popped it all in there if it had an EMC. I just kept a couple of useful things. I mean, mind you, I don't need a wooden kinesis pipe. I just kept a couple of useful things that I know will be handy or things that don't have um, an EMC value in them. But this is a really good trash can because basically anything that you don't want uh, that has an EMC, obviously, you just dump it in there and you're just getting, like, you just get stuff from trash. So awesome. Look at this. Four new diamonds. Chuck you in there. Ah, oh, sweet. This is just the best. Um... Uh, anything else we can quickly tick off before the end of the episode? Let's see if I can get this done. Item ducks move items and have only one tier that we can be crafted. I'm not going to read all of that. We know what it's going to do. It wants an uh, it wants an item duck. Seriously, look up an intro to item ducks. These things are insane and the pure text required would make the config file like three gigabytes. All right, this one's an item duct. I, come on, T, 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 T. I, uh, duct. Can we just do that? Um, and flux, the flux plated, super, come on, item duct, that's what I want, item duct, easy, uh, and it wanted more than one item duct, that's fine, and then reinforced servo, reinforced servo, what am I missing, I'm missing iron nuggets, that's fine. We'll grab a few of you. We have so much iron. So much iron. And that's that. Nice. Do, 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 do. 
Uh, are you going to go in? Yes. Are you going to? You're not going to go in. That is unfortunate. It is weird in some of these things how some things will go in here and some won't, but that's fine. Um, tank. We already made the portable tank and then it wants us to make a hardened tank, which is super easy. Just going to tick this off right before the end of the episode as well. Feels good to get stuff done. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hardened portable tank. Yes. Yes. So good. High format. Whoa, what do we get in it? Oh, 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 oh. What, what's this? What's this? What's this? Blazing Pyrothium. Awesome. Um, I'll pop you back over here, even though it doesn't need to necessarily go there. That is really cool. Uh, and I think that is a wonderful place to leave it. We set up the flower power or power flower of power or whatever it's called. Um, and I, as I said, I'm just going to let that tick away and we're going to um, just slowly passively get materials, which is going to pretty much just set us up for whatever we want to do. It's, just, it's very, very exciting. I cannot express to you how excited I am. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this has been a wonderful having you here with me in my little studio in the back of my house uh, with a doona on my lap because that's how I like to record. So thank you so much. Please hit thumbs up if you're liking this video. Please leave a comment with things that you'd like to see me doing. Um, if there's a mod that you want me to particularly explore, if you want me to get into some magic or you want me to get into some tech, please let me know because um, I'm always looking for feedback on what you like and I'm sorry I am rambling again so I'll see you next time